Greetings kindred spirits, I hope you're all doing well, um, just wanted to say thank you for all your lovely responses from the live video I did with the beautiful Rebecca, um, yeah it was an honour to get all your responses actually, I haven't done um, an FB live for quite a long time, I think it's been over a year, so it was lovely to do that with Rebecca and um, I shall look forward to doing it again very soon. So we do have a new super moon that takes place on the 15th of November. And the new moon will begin in the sign of Libra in the true lifetime sky at 5.07 in the GMT time zone, at 12.07 in the EDT time zone, and at 16.07 in the AEDT time zone. So after a very intense year so far, we have had a little bit of a respite over the last two weeks, you know. Well, even though there's been a lot going on still behind the scenes, so to speak, you know, we have had that time to take that deep breath that was so needed, you know. Even though the nervous energy that's underlying is still present. I still feel though that many of us are probably still feeling a bit drained and a little bit washed out. And that's due to the Black Moon Lilith's aspects that she's been making towards our Sun, Moon, Mercury and Uranus over the last few months. You know, so... This new moon, she will be in conjunction to Uranus, who is still retrograding through Aries. And she will also be in opposition to the goddess Juno, who's actually been under her spell off and on for the last year or so. So there will be a lot of nervous energy felt when it comes to differences of opinion, you know, and especially in domestic situations. So Neptune's in trying to our sun and moon and that will create a high sensitivity and, you know, depending on our immediate environmental energies will determine how this energy will be felt. You know, it's so important that we take a back seat or find a quiet place to recharge our batteries or, you know, get our head around things. Because the moon in Libra can often scatter her energies when it comes to other people. And she can also put their needs before her own. So I think in this particular case it's about taking our power back from those who are draining or dominating our space. You know, this is not the time to get involved in other people's problems. Because there's a lot of bickering going on out there. You know, because the energies will be too heavy and dense. And that can take its toll on our nervous systems, which affect our bodies or our mentality or our emotions even, you know, depending on our own natal chart. You know, so this can also be relative to our environmental vibration as well you know and what the collective are feeling on the whole so we are going to be picking up on a lot especially if we're empathic since the moon's nodes are in square to neptune as well it's just emphasizing that so the again you know whether it's collectively or personally it's um, a time to take the time out and I've been saying it for a few months, but it's becoming more apparent now because it's beginning to affect people on a much deeper level. So the T-square between the Moon's nodes and Neptune will be ongoing right throughout the rest of this year going into 2021. You know, we've got to remember at present, June's still retrograding for Aquarius and that's really off-planet energy and we've been going through that for the last God knows how many years since Neptune entered into Aquarius. 
it's created a lot of mental health issues out there as well. Aquarius rules the 13th house, the house of the hidden, institutions, hospitals, prisons, etc. So um, Neptune can also take us off planet in the respect of fantasy as well, where we're not in the real world. So that's good for people that are clairvoyant or people that are creative or artistic because that's where the inspiration comes from. But if we're idling with that energy and not using it effectively, you know, it can be bad for us. So, you know, it's also important that we make sure that we're eating the proper diet as well. You know, getting fresh air and plenty of exercise because there will be a tendency to take our own bodies for granted. You know, our psychic energy, like I said, will be highly sensitive, so we must keep ourselves on a positive level and avoid addictive behaviour or toxic environments. You know, and I know it's hard for some that feel trapped in that situation, but you know, if you could find the time to move away from it and get your head around it, then you can come to clear decisions a bit later on. I wouldn't say the moon in Libra is the time to come up with conclusions or answers, but it is a time to weigh up the pros and cons or what we can do or what we can't do. We strategize, make a plan. The moon's making good aspects to Saturn, so that's good for strategizing. Getting back to Neptune, you know, this is a dreamy connection between the new moon and Neptune, especially since Neptune is retrograding for Aquarius right now, like I said. Although, you know, his retrograde will complete on the 29th of November, but that's the day before the full moon lunar eclipse. So for the moment, as the Neptune retrograde ends, you know, we may feel a little bit spaced out or just exhausted, you know, just tired. You know, especially after the Jupiter-Pluto conjunction that took place on the 12th of November, because that was a very push and pull energy. You know, and I think we're still on a bit of a come down just from that alone. The Moony Libra is all about creating peace and harmony on one hand, but it's also a sign of justice and fairness and equality. You know, so there could also be situations, either personally or collectively, that comes into the limelight. So, especially since our moon will also be in sextile to the goddess palace of truth and justice but also of like um, pattern recognition. So some of us may be looking into our past and recognising patterns either created by ourselves or others or patterns that we seem to fall into a lot. Because this year is about breaking cycles, it is about building firmer foundations in the future. But like I said at the live FB, you know, Rome wasn't built in a day. And I hate that phrase, really, <laughs> because I don't think Rome really built a good foundation as such, you know. But that's my opinion. Um, but yeah, you know, even in our own personal lives, it's an end of a chapter and the beginning of a new one. And we must make sure that really you know, we're stepping out onto a good path on our new cycle. That's what we want. That's what we desire. But we have to put in the effort. So the sun will enter into Scorpio on the 23rd of November. So, you know, happy solar return, Scorpios. My 13 star sign, Scorpios. You know, I will post up as usual all about the 13 star sign, Scorpio, on my FB page which is Ra Star 13 Star Sign Astrology. And I post it up there because it's the only place I can really post, you know, articles and stuff like that. 
Um, I'm still in the process of um, having my website built. And um, yeah, I'll keep you updated on that anyway. So as the sun enters into Scorpio, there will be a T-square with Venus in opposition to the Black Moon Lilith. And both will be in square to Jupiter, Pluto and the Goddess Pallas. You know, the Black Moon Lilith in opposition to Venus can bring to light issues around infidelity, cheating, self-serving actions and manipulation when it comes to our relationships or finances um, or the economy in general. You know, it can bring up fears or it can bring up, you know, issues around those anyway. You know, but this aspect also warns of overspending and retail therapy. You know, so this definitely shows a pattern of misdirected energy and self-centeredness where the grass appears to be greener on the other side. You know, but then for some, maybe the grass is greener on the other side. You know, it's really down to you to trust your instincts and use your inner wisdom. And if you don't feel you're in tune to that, then, you know, it's time to take a break. Get away from any toxic environment or toxic situation and think about it. This is a definitely a foggy time, like I said on my last podcast. You know, the ether, the energy of ether is very strong at the moment. So, you know, for some it's a bit of a haze and... Or maybe we're overthinking things, you know, at times. Or maybe fearful in taking that step forward. Because, you know, sometimes it's better the devil you know. So I would say, you know, keep on top of your diet. Meditate, pray, chant. You know, create whatever you think. Because it's not a time to idle away the time as such, you know. Yeah, have those moments to space out. Have those moments to fantasise even. But just know that being active will serve you better. But being active in a peaceful environment, doing something you love. So stay in peace, kindred. Much love.